In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the factorial of a number using Python. So the factorial of a non-negative integer n is defined as the product of all the positive integers in between n and 1. So we have n times n minus 1 all the way to times 2 times 1. So for example, 5 factorial would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which would give us 120. Zero factorial is defined as one. Now, if we import the math module, we can use its factorial function to calculate the factorial of a number. So for example, if we call math factorial and we pass it five, this is going to return the factorial of the number five, which we could output using print. And if we save this and try the program out, we'll get here 120 as output, which is correct. Now we could also write our own program to calculate the factorial. Let's do that. We'll first prompt the user to enter the number n. We'll have here a call to input. With the string enter n as an argument. This will prompt the user with the text enter n. The text the user enters is going to be returned by the input function as a string. We'll convert that string to an integer value using int. Then we'll store that integer value into a variable called n. We'll make sure that n is a non-negative integer. We'll have here, if n is less than zero, then this tells us that n is a negative integer and we can't calculate the factorial. So in this case, we'll just output an error message. We'll have here print and we'll say n must be a non-negative integer. Otherwise, we know that n is a non-negative integer, so in the else branch, we'll calculate the factorial. We're going to perform each of the multiplication operations required one at a time using a loop and a counter variable, which is going to go through the integers between one and n. We'll begin a variable called product off at the value one, because one times anything will just give us back that number. And even zero factorial is equal to one. So if there are no integers between n and one, then the product is going to be one and so this will also work for zero factorial. Next, we'll make the loop. We'll have here for i in range, and we'll have one to n plus one. So the way this loop works is that the counter variable i is going to go from one to two to three, all the way to n. That's why we have n plus one here. And it will do that with each loop iteration. And each time we'll perform the next multiplication required to produce this product and we'll store the result back into product. So we'll have here product times equals i. And this will perform the series of multiplications required and store the result back into product. Just to see it, we could output i with each loop iteration. So here we could have print i. And then when this is done, we could output the product. We could have here print product, and that's going to be our factorial. So now if we save the program and try it out, and enter in five, we can see that we do calculate the correct factorial of five, which is 120. And we can see how the loop does that by going through the positive integers between five and one. Now, one more thing we could do is put this logic inside our own factorial function, which we could call in different places in our program. So for example, we could have def factorial here to name the function factorial. We'll have the parameter n, then what we could do is just cut and paste this logic. So we'll cut this here and paste it inside the function. And this time we won't output i and we're going to return the product. So we're going to have here return the product. Then down here, we could call the function. We could have product is equal to, and we'll call factorial and pass it n. Then we'll output the product using print product. So if we save this and try it out, and again, enter in five, we'll get 120, which is correct. So this is how we can calculate the factorial of a number using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.